Oakley air brake. This is the most expensive goggle in this country. Well, this particular one is anyway, because it's God's replica goggle. Is it worth the money? In my opinion, yes. This goggle, every part of this goggle is replaceable. As long as the external frame stays intact, every other component part is detachable. The strap comes off. Flathead screwdriver in two slots, straps off. That can go in a washing machine and can be replaced. The outriggers that attach the strap to the frame are also replaceable. Those of you that have watched my roll off video we know exactly how these work. Slot in the bottom, twist and a locating pin in the top. These you can also buy and you can buy them in different colours so if you're bored of how your goggle looks buy some different coloured outriggers funk it up a bit. Lens, we all know how that comes out two clips, pop it out. The lens holders, Torx, they come out. It's got a little locating pin on the back, so you've got a screw and a plug. The plug's got a square locator on it that fits in the hole in the lens lock. Now, this is the thing, the one that so many people are surprised at and have come to me, oh my air brake, I've had to throw it away. Because the foam's destroyed, it's got holes underneath, it's all worn out there. These are replaceable. This faceplate comes off, it's got little hooks around the frame, little loops on the faceplate, and it comes out, you buy a new faceplate, Let's take the nose piece off because all these signature goggles now come in those pieces. Removable, purchasable. So the faceplate comes off through these little hooks. See, there's a little hook there all the way around the lens. And you can buy a new faceplate for £15. That renews the foam on your goggle and gives you a fresh goggle. So... You've now got your air brake in bits. All right, I haven't taken that off, but okay. So that you can buy new strap. You look in your goggle bag now. How many of you have got air brakes that you're not using because the foam's gone at the top and it's getting sand in? You're getting debris in through the bottom. The elastic's gone in your strap, so you're not using the, the goggle. You've broken the little pin off the outrigger so the straps not strong and hold on anymore you can go to your local dealer online you can buy the component parts and build yourself a new goggle so as long as this is intact you just service your goggle and renew it year after year now you buy a hundred pound goggle of equivalent size and so say quality from another manufacturer, any of those parts go, the goggle's gone. This, you renew. Now which is value for money? Yes, this is the most expensive goggle in the country. It's also the best. Lens location arm, when you put it back, as you can see, that it's got two flats either side of it and there's two flats either side of there so that goes in like this so when you put it in it's easier to put it in when the foam's off but it's still doable when the foam's on like that and you've got the little screw that sits in the top again like I said before it's a Torx and that just screws in and you can't over tighten that because they've got shoulders on so as soon as that's locked that's it there and there's your arm back on the 
face plate comes with all the little hooks all the way around the outside and the pins around the frame. The easiest way I've found to do it, I'm not saying this is the only way, is to put the roof in first so you hook the two pins in with the foam through. Then push the foam through and then work your way round the other pin. So it's a rubber pin that goes over a hook. It's a rubber that goes over the hook. Just work your way round. The awkward one is the nose because it's also got a hard piece of rubber that sits into the frame. So when you've got to this stage you'll then get some resistance from it. Now you've obviously got to not press too hard on the frame because you'll break the frame and then that's your goggle done. But it's just a bit of practice that I've had a, quite a bit of this year and as you can see still not the simplest thing so I use a flathead screwdriver just to hook it over the hole and the la for the last two. Obviously don't pull too hard or you're going to tear the rubber. And there's your new faceplate. That has got a little rubber that locates into the back of there as you can see that popped in and the same round there that is already in. So there is your new foam on your old frame, your goggles good to go again. That's good.